Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Melted. Melted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Challenge completed. <laughs> hey guys, it's Style. So if you've been playing Genshin Impact and you've unlocked Inazuma region available at Adventure Rank 30, you will have access to the Theater Mechanicus event. This is an extremely fun limited time event that is available for now and you can claim nice rewards that you don't want to miss. I especially love to play this game in co-op with my best friend. If you've ever played Bluden's Tower of Defense or any other tower defense games, you'll be familiar with this sort of game structure. Basically, your opponents come running out of the purple portals and you have to stop them from entering the blue portal at the end of the stage by constructing the Veneficus Mechanicae structures that deal elemental damage to the opponents and spending your points on sticks which add buffs and upgrades. Defeating opponents gives you points to spend on more Mechanicae and upgrades. If an opponent goes through the blue end portal, your terminus will lose integrity. The goal is to keep Terminus Integrity above zero throughout the stage to win. If Integrity is depleted before the countdown ends, the challenge is failed. In simpler terms, don't let the mobs through the blue portals or you'll lose points. Our goal is to max out our Mechanicus Mastery XP limit every day and get our hands on the juicy rewards. At the beginning of every stage, we have 2 minutes to construct up to 14 Mechanicae of our choice. My personal favourites are Pyro, Cryo and Hydro to deal Vaporize, Freeze and Melt combos. You want to spread them out and think about the reactions they will create with the characters you are using on your team. Keep in mind, before you choose your Mechanicae, you want to check which Wanderer Stick elements won't be available for the stage. Here I placed a Hydro Mechanicus down, but I couldn't buy any buffs because Hydro and Cryo sticks were disabled. That might be wasted potential and maybe I'm better off dismantling those and reconstructing new ones that will end up dealing more damage. But I'm kind of desperate for some extra Hydro just in case Singchul's skill is still on cooldown. We can draw sticks that give us different buffs and can increase our elemental damage or give our Mechanica different abilities and attacks. Make sure at the start of every wave you are buying the elemental sticks with your Veneficus points, matching the Mechanicae you have chosen. I personally prefer to save my points for buying full price sticks rather than the discounted fickle ones, otherwise you risk getting a bad buff. Some of the Wondrous sticks can stack up so I'd go ahead and buy them at the start of every wave to keep increasing the attack power. I made the mistake of not purchasing all the sticks at the beginning of my waves, which resulted in having weak Mechanicae and opponents easily running through the portals. When we're on the stage, our characters can only use elemental skill in order to create elemental reactions alongside the Mechanicae. I personally really like using Sing Chul for his elemental skill as it keeps a wet status. And Ayaka is great for consistent freezes since you can control and apply her cryo with sprinting. You may also really enjoy using catalyst characters like Barbara and Yanfei. You will eventually come to higher level stages where you'll be up against Ruin Guards. Boy are they fast. Your best bet at winning these waves is to have a bow character on your team and start with a charged attack aimed at their eye. Here's what might happen if you don't have a bow character on your team. Oh my gosh, no. No, he's healing. It's healing! No! No, the HP! Oh my gosh, it's gonna get through. It's gonna get through! I have no more stamina. I have no more stamina. No! 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 If you didn't know already, a Ruin Guard, Hunter and Greater's weak spot is their eye. Shoot them right in the eye to bring them down and it will cause them to be immobilized for a short moment. And your Mechanicae can finish the rest. Range attacks are really helpful in this game and I especially love your Mia's charge attack for this. 
Unless you're using a catalyst character, remember that normal attacks without the element applied to your weapon will not create any reactions. So pop your elemental skill before you start attacking. Attacking and running around the opponents definitely helps cause more reactions and will ultimately bring down the opponents much faster. Make sure you're fully aware of where the purple portals are. You can check the map before you start. On the first day that I played, I made the mistake of focusing most of my Mechanikai on one portal and forgetting about the other one. When you're playing co-op, make sure you equally divide the Mechanikai between you guys or between the portals that you're in charge of for the perfect stage clear. Try to communicate a strategy with your teammate early on. The both of you must be buying the available sticks in order to level up the power of your Mechanikai. Your points are individual, meaning both of you in co-op will have separate points. You don't want to have thousands of points just sitting there unused like I did <laughs> initially. This game is so cool because there are so many ways you can set this up and all kinds of combinations and results based on the mechanicai of your choice and the characters you choose to play. No matter what, I highly recommend Bow and Catalyst users and anyone who can apply their elements with short cooldowns. Having characters with consistent elemental reactions really helps. When your elemental skill is still in cooldown, remember to switch to another character. Our main goal really is to deal consistent damage to the opponent so you can complete the challenges and level up your Mechanicus Mastery, unlock all the stages and get the rewards from the event shop. Time to claim my rewards. Yes. <laughs> event shop. Give me them primo gems. I hope you guys found this helpful if you needed any guidance. Let me know if you've played the theater yourself or if this is the first time you've seen it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. And I appreciate you all, I love you, and I will see you next video. <laughs> hey guys, follow me, Stylist, on Twitch so you don't miss a live stream. You can talk to me in my live chat, interact with me, and play the game with me while watching my stream. Download Twitch from your app store or watch it on your computer at twitch.tv forward slash stylist. I'll see you there.